And welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about uh, Governor Brown's 2014 agenda, but we're going to analyze it from the Republican side of the aisle. My guest this segment is Bob Huff, who's the Senate Republican leader. Thank you very much for being with us. Great to be here. So the governor gave his uh, State of the State address uh, recently, talked about uh, creating a million new jobs. He talked about having a surplus, $3.2 billion or so, a rainy day fund of more than $1.5 billion. Uh, your colleague uh, on the assembly side, a Republican colleague, uh, counterpart, says he's the only adult in the room. So what, what's your reaction? Well, he had a lot of good things to say, and we would say he's actually borrowed a chapter out of the Republican playbook because those are Republican values. We're always about job creation, about setting money aside for a rainy day. You know, he talked about the jobs he's created in the last four years, but the reality is we lost two million jobs during the recession. So just because we've grown back a million, we have a ways to go. And uh, we were certainly disappointed that he didn't stress more about the job creation and what policy he's doing to help help that because we certainly see a lot of bills coming out of the legislature that do just the opposite, including his Prop 30 tax increase, which I think in retrospect uh, we've been borne out that we didn't need to do that to get California back. The business was coming back, the jobs are coming back, the economy is coming back, and if anything, when you raise taxes during an economic expansion, it attempts to tamp down the economy just mm -hmm. a little bit. Republicans have uh, long talked about establishing a very workable, healthy reserve for economic uncertainties, a rainy day fund. Uh, it used to be a thumb, used, used to be uh, like three percent. They would like three percent. This is one and one point six billion dollars, which is like one and a half percent or so, roughly. Do, would you like to see more in that reserve? Well, I'd like to see more, and I'd like to see it really implemented in the way that we did in the bipartisan manner with ACA four, as a part of the budget. And I think it was back in two thousand nine. Now, but there was the budget bipartisan budget. Now it only takes majority vote. Then it was bipartisan. And part of that component the Republicans gave on some of the things the Democrats wanted by requesting this rainy day fund is embraced by ACA4. It's a very robust plan. It does pay down debt, unlike the governor's comment that it didn't. But more importantly, it takes all revenue sources and evens them out so that when we need the resources, we have them. The governor talked about just creating a revenue from the capital gains tax, which is only a small part of the revenue the state gets. Mm -hmm. uh, Republicans have said quite a quite a bit over the last couple of years. I hope he can stand up to the Democrats in the legislature who want to spend more of this money. Well, he has stood up to the Democrats, wouldn't you say? He has a track record now. He has a track record of doing that. He's going to have to be even stronger because for the first time we have billions in, in projected surpluses. And he's up in election this year, and I'm still convinced if he can fog a mirror, he's running and he will likely win. And having said that, um, he wants to be seen as the fiscal conservative governor. So he has a lot at risk here. But most importantly, there is a lot of people out there that still want to spend and they still want to raise taxes, mm -hmm. and he is our backstop to that. I want to ask you a final question on prison realignment. I know you've been very critical of that. Um, as you know, the California prisons are about 150 percent of capacity. We're under a court order to get some prisoners out, like 7,000, very soon. Uh, and you criticize Governor Brown for doing that. What would you have him do? Well, to do, again, the bipartisan plan when Governor Schwarzenegger was here was to build more capacity and then also have some recidivism retraining so people aren't coming back in. But the Democrat legislature never built the extra space. They didn't build those extra good beds, as we called them, and instead just sent the criminals to the lower levels. So and now we have crime spiking after 20 years of decline, and we aren't sending the money to the local government necessary. All right. Well, we're out of time for this segment, but Senator Huff, thank you very much for coming by and talking about these issues. We appreciate it. And thanks to our viewers for watching Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on YouTube, also on My Government On Demand. I'm Steve Swatt. Have a great day.